Welcome to the African Leadership Series, where we bring you great inspirational speeches of African leaders. I think they had reached a certain point in time about a month and a half ago when they had sort of checkmated each other when a political solution could have been suggested so that, you know, everybody ends up with a face-saving way out and we don't end up with so much destruction. But I guess uh, Gaddafi is probably just too much for some of them, you know. But uh, I guess the mistake he also made was the threat he initially issued, you see what I mean? And that was just what they were waiting for and took advantage of it, you know. But there's still no justification for this, you know. Uh, a political way could have been, yes, could have been provided along the way. I wonder if uh, the Libyans themselves will, will not end up being the main losers, you know. Of course, the Western powers led by Sarkozy have all everything to gain from destroying that country. But we have yet to see whether it's going to hold out. I mean, with the assassination of one of their finest generals, that made me a bit uneasy. Because uh, this kind of distrust is already beginning to fester amongst them up there. And it begins to percolate down. A little bit tough. Actually, I, those of us south of the Sahara, you know, had our revolts in the 70s and in the 80s, you know. But it doesn't appear as if some of us have learned any lessons yet, you know. Some of us are even committing more crimes than the situations that led to the revolt, you know. So, I really cannot tell what the future holds, but, uh, you know, people are entitled to freedom and justice. And quite frankly, I would dare say that let there be no peace if there's no freedom and no justice. If you like more African speeches like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. Remember to leave your suggestions on the topics you would like us to cover in the comments below.